Intersectionality is a term created by Kimberly Williams Crenshaw to describe over, overlapping or intersecting, intersecting social identities and discrimination. Intersectionality is the idea that multiple identities intersect to create a whole that is different from the individual identities. In her, two, in her October 2016 TED Talk, The Urgency of Intersectionality, Ms. Crenshaw opened with an exercise. She asked everyone to stand until they heard a name they did not recognize and then be seated and stay seated. The first four names were of black men who had been killed by police action. Over half of the crowd remained standing after she read those four names. When she read four more names, all of which were African-American women who had been killed by police, she went, as she finished, there were only four people standing. Then Ms. Crenshaw stated, only one thing distinguishes the names that you know from the names that you don't, gender. This exercise expertly demonstrates the idea of intersectionality. There are two issues involved, police violence against African Americans and violence against women, both of which have been in the news over the past two years. But when we think about who is impacted by these problems, the names of these black women never come to mind. Ms. Crenshaw explains that when facts do not fit with the available frames, people have a tough time incorporating new information into their way of thinking about a problem. These women are not in the frames of police violence or violence on women, which is often seen as domestic, for us to see them or to remember them. Consequently, reporters don't lead with them, policymakers and politicians don't think about them or speak to them. Intersectionality is the term she coined to deal with the fact that many of our social justice problems like racism and sexism are over, often overlapping, creating multiple levels of social injustice, such as the case of Emma de Graffenreid. She was an African-American woman with a family. Ms. de Graffenreid filed a lawsuit with a claim of race and gender discrimination against a local car manufacturing plant. She had applied for a job and she was not hired and she believed that she was not hired because she was a black woman. The judge in the case dismissed Emma's suit with the explanation that the employer did not hire African or the employer did hire African Americans and the employer did hire women and she could not combine the actions. What the judge was not willing to acknowledge was that African Americans that were hired usually for industrial jobs or maintenance jobs were all men. And the women that were hired, usually for secretarial or front office work, were all white. The court did not acknowledge how these policies came together to create the double discrimination that Emma de Graffenreid was facing. The judge believed that by allowing her to do that, she would be able to have preferential treatment. She would have an advantage by having two chances at employment when African American men and white women only had one chance. Neither African American men nor white women needed to combine a race and gender discrimination claim to tell their story of discrimination that, that they were experiencing. Only African American women needed to be protected in this way because the experiences weren't exactly the same as white women and African American men. So the frame should be more inclusive to include black women. It is with reflection that this case with reflection on this case that Ms. Crenshaw decided that there needed to be a name for this problem. Because when there's no name for a problem, you can't see a problem. And when you can't see a problem, you can't solve it. The name intersectionality came from an analogy to, intersection, to an intersection in which the roads to that intersection would be the way that the workforce was structured by race and gender. And then the traffic on those roads would be the hiring policies and procedures. So if race was one road and gender another, Emma being born both black and female would be positioned in the middle of the intersection where those roads overlapped. 
experiencing the simultaneous impact of the company's gender and race traffic. The law, the law is like the ambulance that shows up and is ready to treat Emma only if she can be shown that she was harmed on the race road or on the gender road, but not where those roads intersected. Ms. Crenshaw stated, what do you call being impacted by multiple forces and then abandoned to fend for yourself? Intersectionality seemed to do it for me. Ms. Crenshaw continued, in the same way that intersectionality raised our awareness to the way that black women live their lives, it also exposes the tragic circumstances under which African-American women die. The level of violence that black women face is such that it's not surprising that some of them do not survive their encounter with police. Black girls as young as seven and great-grandmothers as old as 95 have been killed by the police. Some of the most powerful words she shared about police violence against women were, they've been killed shopping while black, driving while black, having a mental disability while black, having a domestic disturbance while black. They've even be kill been killed being homeless while black. They've been killed talking on the cell phone, laughing with friends, sitting in a car, reported as stolen and making a U-turn in front of the White House with an infant strapped in the back seat of a car. Yet we do not know these stories. I did not know these stories. These stories do not generate the same amount of media coverage and outcry as the lost lives of their male counterparts. If we can't see a problem, we can't fix a problem. Intersectionality gives us a frame to broaden our way of thinking, to include those who are intersected by more than one type of discrimination, and that they begin to live, live without that oppression. We can help by remembering those women who have been lost to state-sponsored violence, learning their names, and bringing their deaths into the light. Thank you.